Today, we want to explain to you the specific functions of our dressage model Pasubio. Therefore, we present you a top line, which is very athletic, has short lines, very compact, and uh, square built. You see the marked areas on the horse. This is the shoulder blade, deepest point of the top line, and approximately the center of gravitation. The function we want to support with our saddles is stretch between middle of the back, middle of the neck. Therefore, we want to place the weight on the base of the wheelies where the horse can carry weight easily. You also see a distance between shoulder blade and deepest point, which is key. Also, a slightly rising angle to the top line, which is found in compact horses and also sometimes in ponies. According to the philosophy of Amerigo, we have to have the same radius, angles, and distances in the saddle than we find in the top line of the horse. So if we put the saddle on the right position here, then you see positioning of the gullet, point of the tree. Yeah? Then you see a distance between pommel and deepest point of the saddle corresponds with the distance between shoulder blade and deepest point of the top line. And here you see a very moderate, friendly angle of the tree following the top line of the horse, slightly rising to the croup. Like this, you don't interfere with the function of the hind legs. For the rider, we want to achieve a position where the hips are placed as you would stand on the ground. This is the situation where you achieve a balance line between ear, shoulder, hip, heel. What's also, what's also very important is the positioning of the billets. They have to be adapted to the position of the girth, girth which, is, which is given by the horse uh, with this uh, uh, girth position on the sternum. So you have a straight line to the first to the first buckle, so they have a balanced situation with all the lines under control. 